Okay, we go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you go into a hotel in Pala? Yeah, I know the place. It's lucky for you, Pala has only one hotel still working. They're not fans of the DJ. Maybe his music choices. Who knows? And what about some of the many checkpoint is all on it? I mean, I'm doing that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able Where are you headed? My passenger, driving him to the hotel in mm -hmm. town. You come from the airport? Yes, sir. The airport. Uh, g gentlemen, you are posted here all day. Ne? On my way back, I grab some cold beer. You drink beer, ne? Yep, beer. We drink beer. Hurry up then. Move along. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. See you soon, sir. Troops nowadays. It's okay, they keep to themselves most of the time. It's concerned you just poison them of steam, right? You remember how you <laughs> fools and cab drivers. His presence in the state gives him a speed of stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the joint signatory framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. 
Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing, and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it, so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. Still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men, and what motivates them. Simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. <laughs> so long. Bagana truck. Better do some first aid on that. I'm Kepo and you're a problem. Who are you working with? You got some of my guys killed at the hotel, did you know that? So now I think you work for me now. Get on out here, get yourself some gear. We got ammo and meds, weapons, whatever you need. Listen up. The shit really hit the fan back in town. There was supposed to be ceasefire, but that's all gone to hell. I work with a local guy named Kawasi. Runs muscle for the APR. I've got my best man out in the field trying to keep the airfield out from encroaching on my home. Sorry, but that makes you my auxiliary. The first duty of the day. I need you to get that rust bucket two-door outside back on the road. You know how to fix cars? Go out there and see if you can get the engine started. Stay on task. You're sick. You don't have time to screw around. Guard!
Okay, good. Now that your mobile let's see if you can handle something that shoots back. Your fellows got a small outpost, have a click north of here. Now that the bullets are flying again, I don't want them there. Get rid of them. I will meet you there and help you find the bridge you need. But for now, I am you. Don't follow me. Good job.
done. Here's the thing about the local economy. The only currency worth anything is diamonds. Forget the paper money. I wouldn't wrap a fish with it. When you work for the APR, you get paid in stones. Now, one of my men, not one of the bright ones, picked up a case of diamonds and dropped him off here yesterday. He stuck him somewhere in the camp and then went and took a bullet back in town. Maybe you killed him. Anyway, if you want those rocks, go outside and find them. The case has a tracker you can home in on with your compass. If I were you, I'd go buy some medicine next. Malaria's a big deal, man. You should head over to Mike's. It's an expat bar. Good search for all sorts of shit. Get yourself sorted out and come by the APR office in town. I'll introduce you to Kwasi. We'll talk business. It's okay. He can leave now. See you. Speak of the devil. I'm very glad you made it here safely. I wasn't sure I would see you again. Last time I saw you, you were very sick. Please, let me introduce myself. My name is Garbani Singh. You see that man right there? He can get malaria pills, and that is what you need. I have not forgotten how much you helped me before. I am at your service, always. You are a good soldier. Not like the men who are fighting this war. They'll be gone soon enough. These men and their wars are tearing this country apart. Be well, my friend. Oh, you people never stop. Here's the bloody tape, all right? That's it. That's all I've got. Well, aren't you going to destroy it? That's what your friends usually do. Wait, you're not here for the tapes, are you? Well, I see the problem now. You can get the pills you need from the church in Pala. The priest there will help you, assuming you make it in time. Just pass it along for me. You can't break a man the way you break a dog or a horse. The harder you beat a man, the taller. So you're not one of them. 
I'm Ruben Oluagambi, what you call a stringer. And you are new, I can tell by the state of your clothes. They are much too clean. If you're taking a chance talking to me, I'm persona non grata around here. The warlords want me out of the country. They don't like the story I'm writing. It's about the war, and about them, of course. But mostly it's about the famous arms dealer, the Jaka. That was him on the tape. Do you know I have covered 16 wars across Africa? 16. And every time he has been there, selling his weapons and making a fortune while millions of people suffer and die. He thinks he can continue to do his work in secret. But not this time. These stories, they are going to come out. The Jackers, the warlords, the soldiers, the boy soldiers, even the NGOs. I intend to expose the whole sordid mess. I make it sound very dramatic. We'll see if anybody back home even notices. So, here is new guy. I'm Yosef. Everybody says you're tough. Even tough guys need help sometimes. You get in bad spot, you count on me. I fight for years in Yugoslavia, know all the tricks. I've been interviewing people for months now. Diplomats, warlords, civilians, wherever I could trick into talking to me. I had some fantastic material. Then the soldiers confiscated my tapes. They said they destroyed them, but maybe not. I don't know. I can't very well go looking for them. I'm no good with a gun, you see. And you need one these days just across the street. You've seen the fighting. The war is getting worse by the minute. It's absurd. Because why are they fighting? For what? You can see the country is destroyed. The people, the diamonds, the cities. But about the rages on with the Jackers weapons, no less. It is going to end badly. And I'm afraid I'll be here to see it. I'm a bit of a robber neck, I suppose. Listen, if you find any more of my tapes, please bring them back to me here at the bar. I need them for my... Sorry, I'll tell you right. I meant what I said about the tapes. I need to kill the rules here, right? I'm sorry, there aren't regular services at the moment. Oh, you're not well. You should see a doctor before you really need a priest. Did Ruben send you? He had something for me. I would be very happy to give you what little medicine I have in exchange. I think you should take one of those right away. Those will only last a short while, but I may know where to get more. Not all of my people have left. Many are trapped, scared of what will happen if they are caught trying to leave. And there are others who have chosen to stay. We try to help where we can, and we could use someone like you. You should come back when you require more medicine. Stop there. You know the drill, no weapons. This guy. 
guy's not kidding around with the merchandise. Look at this guy. A jackal. What kind of name is that? The guy's crazy. He practically gave his things away. Why did he sell them so cheap? What you want, man? The job. I don't know you. But you know me. I'm the famous Prosper Kwasi. Are you good with the guy? You think you can hit a guy in a fast car? It's a big target. It'll be easy to hit. Is Kwasi talking to you, Kepo? No. He's talking to you, guy. You want a job? We got one. It's good. Assassination. Chief of police. Bam. Kepo. Tell him where to find this man. He's riding in a motorcade. It's a moving target. You'll have to pick a spot on the road and wait for him to come to you. You're hurting Kwasi's feelings. Ambush the motorcade, kill the police chief, and the job is complete. Nobody else in APR knows about this. Other soldiers won't be friendly. Keep your head down. Right. Hand over the hardware. I consider this a serious problem. It would be easy for people to assume that I ordered this attack. Look at their gear. Look at their God, Jesus, that is the highest quality. This is the United Front. I'm Dr. Kakumba. So we'll get to the point. Standby point is in Southern Desert. Find the team and destroy their gear. Then they are nice and screwed. Payments here. Don't forget, this is secret mission. So you FLL guys don't know you. Don't expect any help out there. 